Hi, I'm Mark Bashore. Welcome to another in our Trusted Voices series. This is a production of Relaunch Greater Lansing. Our goal here is to communicate accurate, timely, and fact-based information about COVID vaccines in the hopes of encouraging everybody to get the vaccine in the coming weeks. With us today, Julie Mann. Julie is Chief Human Resource Officer at Neogen Corporation in Lansing. Julie, many thanks for joining us today to uh, talk about this important topic. Absolutely. Thanks for having me, Mark. I'm glad to be here. A two-part question to open up. Okay. Uh, what concerns have you heard about the vaccine specifically from your Neogen team members? Describe that. And the second part, how have you responded to those concerns? Okay, perfect. Um, first of all, let me just kind of from a perspective standpoint of view, um, you know, Neogen is one of those rare companies in the greater Lansing area. Um, we pride ourselves that not only we were identified as a critical infrastructure employer, but, you know, we're the leader in keeping the global food supply safe. So um, we sell a culture media product to companies that produce the COVID-19 vaccine, vaccine. So the only reason that's important when you kind of think about how we're handling that at Neogen is that what this means to all of us is that not only are our products more important now than ever, but as a science-based company, our employees tend to believe in science. So, you know, that kind of helps us from a concern standpoint of view. Um, that being said, we surely are still hearing some of the same concerns from our employees as other companies are regarding the vaccine. And so the, you know, the big thing for us is just to continue to encourage, encourage our employees to educate themselves on the science of the vaccine, being that science-based company, and to contact their personal physicians if they have questions regarding the safety of the vaccine for themselves. The important thing that we've also tried to let people be sure that they're aware of is that it is that, you know, their doctors know that they're the employee's particular health challenges um, and knows their health landscape. So that person can very much be a partner to help them make an informed decision on the safety of the vaccine for that particular employee. Are you are you hearing just broadly concerns about the safety of the vaccine? A lot. I mean, you've heard people say, well, they, they really rushed this thing. Uh, are you hearing that kind of hesitancy? We are hearing hesitancy. Um, one of the things that we did, you know, over a year ago now, Mark, was we stood up what's called an ERT, which is a, um, you know, an executive resource team to kind of drive and educate um, throughout the whole pandemic. And so we do hear those, but we've had a very constant cadence, almost weekly, bi-weekly of communications out to our employees so that we're providing ongoing information to try to you know, help them decipher through all of that. There's plenty of information out there. Um, so you just have to continue to read and, and decipher. And as well, we you know, try to direct people back to their own physicians because everyone's health is a different um, journey. And so we need to be sure that they're, you know, having that partnership to make the decision that's right for them. Are you requiring vaccines at Neogen? No, we are not requiring vaccines as a condition of employment, just like we don't require, for example, an annual flu shot. Um, again, we don't think that we're in the position to know what's medically best for each of our employees. Um, but, you know, we do understand it's an individual choice and we are encouraging our workforce to make that informed decision um, by, again, educating, being sure that they're reading up on the vaccine, paying attention to information from local agencies um, when offering a vaccine and just being aware of misinformation. So, again, reading and educating is just so important and just listening to your employees before making that decision on that requiring of the vaccine. So we are not um, requiring it, but yes, we are encouraging. So you, you are, uh, it would be acceptable to the company to have something fewer than 100% of your employees vaccinated as you move into the future? Yes, and again, I think, you know, there's many decision factors that come into vaccination. You know, there's medical, um, there's, there's all types of things that we do not believe we can require that vaccine. And so we are hoping to get a high percentage, but it's not our expectation that we will land at 100% either. What's been the biggest hurdle so far, or, or do you feel the biggest hurdle may still be in the future? Um, hurdles has been availability and 
eligibility, I think have been the two biggest hurdles so far. Um, you know, Neogen, we have many uh, locations across the United States and, you know, as well globally. And staying aware of when availability and eligibility happens in any of those markets has been a big challenge. Um, you know, I think once that supply catches up with the demand, you know, then that edu the challenge will continue to be on that education. Um, but the biggest hurdle right now is um, availability and eligibility, and then getting that information into our employees' hands so that they can sign up and then can get the vaccination if they, they choose to do that. After we emerge from this phase we're in right now, and we can realistically plan uh, in-person uh, gatherings in conference rooms, you know, with other companies, with other organizations. How, how do you expect to deal with the situation in which uh, not all the participants have been vaccinated? You know, I think that's going to be, um, you know, an interesting space when, when we get there, because we will get there. Um, but I will say, you know, when we think about it, Neogen, I mean, at Neogen, we foster that culture of inclusivity, and we spend time educating on the importance of both workplace respect as well as individuality. Um, we're going to continue to foster that culture as we move forward and begin with those in-person meetings. Um, you know, we've been discussing that vaccination space is a personal choice and it does factor in many variables. Um, but, you know, we recognize that the subject of COVID-19 and we've talked to, um, you know, our workforce about this, you know, it can lead to expressions of opinion. And I think it's going to be, uh, you know, employers are going to have to be very careful to remain responsible and respectful when communicating with their colleagues about that COVID-19 vaccination space as we do mm -hmm. move forward. Yeah. Uh, you know, my other assumption is that, you know, we're going to continue to practice social distancing, facial covers and other protective measures for some time to come. So changes in protocol are going to be more based on probably where we're at with the virus as opposed to individual choices regarding that vaccine, vaccine sorry, to be sure that we are, again, being very respectful um, of uh, individuals and our employees. Just for the record, Julie, how many team members do you have here just in, in Lansing? Over 600. Okay, yeah. Well, what's your best advice? Yeah, I mean, when you encounter the obligatory dog. Uh, <laughs> there we go. Interview, we, we covered all the bases here. Um, what, you might have the answer to your next question. I'm not sure. <laughs> <laughs> it's my dog. I'll give yeah. you that. What's your best advice for anyone sitting on the fence uh, as far as getting the vaccine? Yeah, I'm going to go back to that educate, educate, educate. You know, I mean, people need to, you know, educate. Uh, some still are asking if there's a cost associated with the vaccine, and there is not a cost. Um, you know, some are still asking about the effects of the vaccine um, if you choose to get that. And again, it's just that educate, educate, and educate again. Um, if you have any questions about the vaccine for yourself, you know, we're going to continue to have our employees work with their physicians because they know they know that employee and can help them make the most informed decision about their health. But it really is, I think, um, educating, you know, and, and talking with, with others in your trusted circle. Is there anything I haven't asked you about that you'd like to just share with the people watching this regarding the vaccine challenge? Boy, since we've been at this for over a year now, Mark, there's I could probably write a book on that. But um, you know, nothing, nothing at the moment. You know, I think again we need to move together as a community. Um, I think we need to be aware of the fact that you know. In so much of what you read relative to COVID-19 um, vaccination, that so much of it is not only about protecting yourself, but about protecting others. And so think about, you know, everything that you're doing, whether vaccinating, social distancing, you know, masking up, but all of those things are so important that you're, um, you know, keeping others safe. And, you know, this is a team effort. Um, we're going to have to stay, pull together as a community, 
pulled together as a team um, to be patient with each other as we work through this and as we work through that vaccination process. Um, this, this isn't an easy challenge, but as we know, together we can do anything. So we just gotta keep going. We wanna thank Julie Mann, Chief Human Resource Officer at Neogen Corporation here in Lansing. Julie, again, congratulations on your success so far navigating uh, this crazy pandemic landscape and we wish you nothing but the best. Thank you for joining us today. Thank you very much. I appreciate it. Be safe.